eight men, seven countries. Norway, England, Portugal, Finland, Australia, Germany and the Netherlands. The only thing that we had in common prior to coming together was love for motorcycles. Yet here we are in a completely foreign land riding on completely foreign roads together sharing this journey like we were brothers it's beautiful that is exactly what it is beautiful good morning from a very small town in okay i should probably not stand here and talk the dogs are barking the whole night yeah yeah i get it i get it uh, the other guys they slept in the previous town and we slept here in this very beautiful small house uh, yeah because of reasons but anyways the final day is about to begin the weather seems to be nice yeah just bom dia yeah a new day ready to ride Alright, so the three of us are on our way back to the town of Piudao, where you saw the drone shots. Amazing town, the whole town made of stone. Uh, meeting up with the rest of the guys there to have breakfast and then we'll continue the day. This is the final day of riding. Which is, yeah, it's bittersweet. It's sweet because I, uh, I do miss, I do miss Norway for some reason. I'm not really sure why, but I miss, I miss my family. But I, yeah, it, it's early in the morning, and that's when your thoughts are the most emotional, uh, I guess. And it's bitter because this has been absolutely epic in every sense of the word. Adventure. This race going down to the city of Puidao. We are shut our, our bikes down and this is a rolling race. Diogo on the Husky is behind me and Chris on the CRF. He's doing a good job. I should probably win this because I have the most weight, but uh, I have the least amount of cojones. So, yeah. So far in the middle, doing fine. Pretty interesting because I can hear the hear the traction from the front tire in the corners. Look at that! Wow! <laughs> that is where the boys are, or the other guys are staying this night. Oh! Oh oh, I don't have enough momentum. Hey, cheating! <laughs> See you! <laughs> Should I roll the fastest because I'm heaviest? Yes, I think so. Yeah. I have achieved many great things in life. I've become a father, I've served my country, but this has to be the biggest one. Winning the rolling race of Puidao. We are at the finish line. Yes! Yes! I got it! <laughs> oh! Good morning, fellas! <laughs> oh, the final day begins. The weather was supposed to be fine today, but I guess it is what it is. We've had rain before, it's not dangerous, it's just a bit unpleasant. <laughs> Come to Portugal, you said. Yes, it's gonna be very good weather, it usually is. It will be sunny, you said. Yeah, but this is good because if it was too sunny, then it would be feel hot and Sweaty. Okay. This is so much better, isn't it? This is a part of the experience. Can you show people view? Yeah, it's like uh, a lovely village over there. Beautiful, yeah. Yeah, it's all grey. Must go on. The rain has stopped, and I am back on the PR7. Everything is as it should be. <laughs> Thank you very much, Jota, for lending me your awesome bike. Let's go find some off-road trails and make this an epic day just like yesterday. 
one thing that I really like about this bike is the suspension. It, it's like a mix between adventure and, I guess, motocross suspension. Riding over these small rocks here, I can't feel them. It just soaks them up. Like the first initial two centimeters off the travel is just like perfect. And then when you ride a bit faster and you hit some bigger stuff, it, it doesn't bottom out, bottom, uh, bottom out. It's, it handles the trail as well as the bigger hits. And that's not something that I've been, I guess, used to that much. Uh, the 701 did to a certain degree. The T7 doesn't, I think. Uh, Diogo's XT is, is very good at softening road like this out, but the bigger hits, it's, you feel those more than you do on this bike. Definitely. Whoa. Chris, are you all right? Perfect. That's good to hear. Are you also a believer of the Suzuki DRs able to climb trees or? Yes. This is not the first time I see this. Where does it come from? Yeah. No, no, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I'm just That's where it ends. So like... Okay. I mean, I go ahead. Try. No, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> so, Johans, I just came. I, I spent the last two or three days, or four days, or whatever, on the FE350 Uskvarna. Loving the bike in general. It's a bike that makes things really easy. But now I just switched bikes with Jote. He's on. He was using this DR350, and the difference. It's ah, it's unbelievable. Like the it feels. I am about to jump on the Husqvarna FE350 and here I am discussing with the Portuguese version of Ryan Fortnite comparing the FE350, a competition bike or a performance oriented bike with the Dual Sports DR350 and the Honda CRF 300L. And I got to test ride the Husky a few days prior to this tour around Diogo's hometown and I didn't like it. I didn't like the high strung nature and stiff suspension, but that was all about to change. Getting a hang of this FE350 now and this is just <laughs> it is incredibly capable. It's just so responsive to braking and it doesn't wallow around like a heavier bike. It's just just you can just point it in the direction you want to go and it will go there and even the the, the PR7 is, is a oh can't find the rear brake <laughs> the lever is so small uh, even the the PR7 is such an amazing bike just there's a huge difference this I think it's 55 60 kilograms in difference is just yeah, obviously two different kinds of bikes, but still, it's interesting to experience the difference between these bikes. I started this Portugal tour by being impressed with the Honda CRF 300L. Then I was even more impressed when I test rode the AGP PR7. But neither of these bikes are drastically different from bikes that I have experienced with in the past. I've owned both the DRZ and the 701. The bike that really impressed me was the Husqvarna FE350. And as I said earlier, I initially didn't like this bike. It wasn't until I started to ride it a bit harder, still only perhaps 10% of what it's capable of, but 110 of what I am capable of, the bike started to make sense. The weight, the handling, the brakes, the acceleration, the torque, it was just a complete hoot to ride. I did things on this bike that I am not capable of doing. How good is this, huh? <laughs> rally Portugal. Amateur rally. Like just endless amount of traction and power. It's, it's unbelievable, really. Unbelievable. Come on, Jote! 
Hey, get in your best. <laughs> a lot about the bikes but I, I do find bikes very interesting to dissect and share my opinion and compare with the other bikes talk with the other guys as well and this bike the Husky FE 350 I, I rode it around Diogo's house a few days ago did not like it because it was way too aggressive not a mellow bike at all but for this kind of stuff and the rougher parts it's just amazing incredible amount of power and it's, it's very down low as well it's, it's torquey and powerful it's just in a package that's just way too light it's it's very <laughs> it's interesting to, to ride a bike this capable it's uh, I understand why they use this chassis I think for rally riding I guess they um, yeah, they, they stiffen up the, the frame for the fuel tanks and it, it does add some weight, but still... Yeah, this is just... Amazing. And while you are watching me ride the Husky FE350 on these amazing Portuguese trails, I'm going to be completely honest with you. Riding the Husky FE350 opened my eyes to something I haven't experienced before, a whole nother level of capability. Ever since I test rode this bike in Portugal, I have been thinking about it. And I have reflected a lot over what exactly is it that makes the FE350 this capable. Could it be the tires? Well, perhaps, but the other bikes had good tires as well. Could it be the suspension? Well, the PR7 has really good suspension, but it's nowhere nearly as capable as the FE350 in the dirt. The only thing that comes to mind and makes sense is the low weight. 105 kilograms with as much power as the T7. Now that's a good combination. <laughs> this is insane. It's completely nuts, this bike. I can brake later, give more gas, lean further. It's a lot of good things. And it's it's not only the, the lower weight, I think it's a combination between a, a good engine, frame, yeah. Talk about things that I really don't know not much about, but yeah, good experience to say the least. Good experience. Want one? Yes. Buy one? Probably not. <laughs> all good things must come to an end the bikes are washed the bags are packed Portugal tour is now over we are about to head to the airport and I've said goodbye to most of the guys this has been absolutely fantastic I can't wait to get back here in Portugal and ride at this magnificent and awesome trails and beautiful landscape like that I am back home. An adventure of a lifetime comes to an end but the memories will live on forever. Chris, Stuart, Bill, Peter, Jota, Franz and Diogo thank you very much for making this happen and thank you for watching. Good night. <laughs>